Welcome back to The Road Show. This morning in the buzz. This is not an uplifting buzz today, but it's certainly something that everybody's talking about. Central Falls become the first city ever in Rhode Island to file for bankruptcy. Now, you probably know it is the smallest community in the state, and it's been on the brink of financial ruin for months now. Well, yesterday, after failing to get retirees and the unions to agree to pension and benefit cuts, the state-appointed receiver announced that he had no choice but to seek Chapter 9 protection in federal court. Receiver Robert Flanders says the move will get him or give him the ability to reduce pension benefits and to save the city millions. Of course, many are not happy with the plan. No one can be expected to lose half of their income and be happy about it or be able to live without drastic reductions in your home budget. Now, Flanders is also asking the courts to throw out the police and fire department's collective bargaining agreements. They say city workers will also face layoffs in the future. All right, let's talk first of all, though, with this decision itself. Do you think it was the right one for Central Falls to do it at this point? I think at this point, given that Central Falls has, has tried many things and they've been struggling for a very long time, mm -hmm. I feel like it, it probably was their right move at yeah. this point in time. However, I feel like this is now might become a trend for other people who are maybe just starting to struggle, so they'll use, you know, claiming bankruptcy as a, as a cop-out or something. I feel Central Falls, they've been struggling. Yeah. And they really have been, and, and maybe this is the move that they needed to make. What do you think, Michelle? I just think this is this is a bad day in Rhode Island for this to happen. This is going to be probably a cascade of events now mm -hmm. that not only affects Central Falls, but affects the entire state, and we're talking about government services. So we're not just talking about right. you know, these unions that are going to be hit hard, but what mm -hmm. happens to the children in the schools at Central Falls? What happens to your garbage pickup? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, all of these things are going to be a concern. And now I think, you know, the entire state, the woes in Central Falls, and it's happening in a lot of communities, it's all going to start to be spread out. So we're all going to feel it. Yes. I, mean, I don't yeah. think it's a good thing for the rest of us. No, it's certainly not. And I think too, you know, you mentioned just how it's going to affect pretty much the everyday person in Central Falls. I mean, you hear from this one person who is a retired firefighter, and again, we can debate about the whole, should firefighters be able to retire at 20 years? You know, this guy's in right. his mid-40s is now collecting a pension. But the fact of the matter is, the law was the law when he retired. Exactly. And now, to ask these retirees to cut it in half, I think it's unfair. I really do. I mean, in my mind, there had to be some sort of a better way to maybe slowly reduce it, mm -hmm. or, or I just think, grandfather what's going to be the problem somehow? now when these but guys are getting half the income? I understand that, but now what's going to happen? They're going to be able to collect unemployment or underemployment yeah. now, so the money's going to come from somewhere else. It's not, I don't know. I You're just, right. I mean, the system is the system is messed up, yeah. so there has to be a time when you say, okay, we have to be done, and I right. think that's yeah. what Central Falls is doing. They're saying, we're done, we have to move forward. Is it fair to the people who had, you know, went to work, mm -hmm. retired from work with a certain plan in mind? Right. No, it probably isn't, but shame on the unions for not being able to come to some sort of agreement. Mm -hmm. Everybody has to give. I mean, I remember a couple of years ago, things were even worse, and our I'm sorry, company, I was our, see. Oh, sorry. Sorry. You know, our, our private <laughs> company that we all worked right. for said, guess what, guys? Here's the bottom line. This is getting cut. This is getting cut. This is getting cut. Right. Yeah. And we didn't have a say. Right. We couldn't exactly. fight over it, and that's what's going to happen now to these mm -hmm. unions. They yeah. just, they lost their say. Yeah. They did, and you know, I don't know exactly what happened behind closed doors, but maybe they could have come forward and said, all right, we're not going to take half. How about a third or even a quarter? Right. But mm -hmm. I don't think that, I, again, I don't know everything that happened, but it doesn't appear that they said, how about a lesser degree right. of a hit? You right. know what maybe I mean? Right. Than right. being forced to take a half, you know? Right. But it is going to be painful to watch what's going to happen down the road because this yeah. is the start of something that's not and good. And the repercussions so. are going to be very interesting. Yeah. Like this you is, said, it's affecting our whole state. Not Eventually, just, not just it, it may. So, yeah. I'm interested to see what people feel about this online, Courtney, because I think you know people initially think it's a bad move, but you know it goes a little bit deeper than just black and white here. Absolutely, there's a lot of reading behind that story there that maybe folks don't know about, but they are weighing in this morning and how they feel about that city there. Let's start on the live blog on FoxProvidence.com and. Ben F. says Central Falls has come a long way from being home to mill-working religious French Canadians of years ago. Hitting rock bottom is quite a blow. And Joey B. said, I think there's always the possibility of other cities following suit and filing for bankruptcy, but it would be rare. And this one is from Tripp. He said he voted no in the poll, as I really believe that no one wants to go down this path, especially when they see the ripple effect it has on the state. So here is the poll right underneath the live blog. Do you think other Rhode Island municipalities will follow suit? A yes, B no, C not sure. I've also posted a really in-depth story there that we have from our 
sister station at WPRI.com to uh, see how, what's happening there. We have a couple of comments on our Facebook page. Diana says there are other cities that seem close to bankruptcy. Hopefully it doesn't happen. She thinks there are other paths in time to save money. And Kathy said it's a sad state we're all in, and she hopes that that doesn't happen to others. So we'll see what everyone thinks collectively in the poll at the end of the show. We'll